Ever since I was young, I always wanted to be a farmer. After I moved to North Carolina, all I had in my name was zero dollars and a will to make my very own business. Can I succeed? Let's find out. Alrighty, so I just got off the phone with one of my buddies and he wants me to cut some grass for him and bail him up. So hey, I ain't gonna complain about that today. Before I do head out, I want to kind of tell y'all exactly why we're not using this tractor today. The reason is because our drops, of course, are still bad on it. We gotta replace those. Transmission slipping, we gotta take it to a mechanic for him to fix that. It's just gonna be a lot of repair work, but I've already gotten that price tag. It's gonna be two thousand dollars. We'll hopefully make the rest of that today because I have two jobs lined up for the day, but I also do want to buy my own mower. But we're gonna go ahead and head on down to where we got to get some work done. All righty. So I've already talked to him this morning. He said that we're fine. Just go ahead and get out of work. This is the field over here that we will be cutting. This one and turning that over there. So we'll go ahead and get this all cut up, bailed, wind, and dined. So this tractor we're going to use right here, a little utility tractor. So it ain't nothing impressive, but it's a good little tractor. So let me get back here, pull the PTO off. All right, there we go. And he said, I'm out. What kind of a mower is this? Oh, let's not. We're going to be mowing for a minute. This ain't really the best mower for this grass because this is the what I like to call good grass right here. It's not like low quality grass. This is no weeds in it. It's really good high quality grass. And after we got the mower dialed in, we went straight to work cutting all the grass. After we got done cutting the grass, we went ahead and switched over to the wind rover to make sure we get everything in nice and neat and orderly lines. So we're having a problem. Yep, the whole bearing inside is busted. Yep, that one wheel keeps collecting a bunch of grass seeing if it would just go away on by itself it didn't go away by itself so we got to head over to the dealership real fast pick up that new part or i can't do my job effectively if we replace that wheel right there we won't really have any problems at all after we got into the trailer we head down to the general store which it ended up costing us a hundred dollars for the part we needed and after we got the part i decided to browse around for a few seconds see what they had in stock and then i came back to the job at hand to finish up what we started and that's the last one right there I should be about to torque the spec, and we should be able to get right back to work to doing what we were doing before. We do have a whole nother job we gotta still do today. That should have been the last that line right there. We should now be done with wind rowing for him. He said he wants me to leave it for a couple of hours before I decide to bail it. We did get some rain earlier today. He wants to have a chance to dry out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna kind of pack up shop here, go ahead and attach it to the baler, and head out to our next property. Alrighty. So this is the equipment we have to work with today. He kind of just left that in the field for me so I didn't have to go and get it. We have a Farmall 1206 John Deere Batwing, which is an HX20. And we have this tether right here, which is a Vermeer tether. So we should be pretty good. This is the only fill right here we got to do today. But I do want to show y'all something that is possible and we might end up doing it here pretty soon. This right here, the same guy owns it, but he's wanting to sell it all. He's only wanting 20 grand for this. So I'm thinking about taking a loan out and buying this right here in full so that we can go ahead and own some hayland but we need to focus on getting our tractor started first so that i can show the banks that we have something oh yeah this is gonna be a lot faster right here ladies and gentlemen We'll say we have been mowing here for a little bit now. Everything looks like this mower is running really, really good. This is definitely a type of mower I wouldn't mind getting on the back of my tractor. He told me that he only paid 15 grand for it brand new. That ain't really that bad of a price at all. And I think that's kind of worth it to me. And we are now getting done with the last little bit of mowing right here. And so I'm going to kind of go ahead and put this up over here. Just so that we are getting everything out of the way. And now we just got the easy job of sitting here tethering it. And he said that we're going to leave it for a couple of days out here in the field just so it gets all the moisture out of it and we can honestly bail it up windrow it and bail it up at a different time which how much he's going to pay me i'm going to take that money and i'm going to go and put that directly into a mower this right here looks like it's doing good and while we've been sitting here i've been on the phone calling up some different bankers and i did find a banker that said if i go down there and sign the paperwork today we can end up with that new land as soon as tomorrow that would be great to be able to go ahead and own our first piece of land that just really puts us one step closer to buy my grandfather's old farm and that's really what we are wanting to do we're wanting to buy that old horse farm and that will allow us to actually make more money off of it they even said that they'd go ahead and give me a fifty thousand dollar loan but you know some of you are like fifty thousand dollars that's a lot of money that is a lot of money but i called the guy who owns this field he said after i get this cut of grass off of it he'll sell it to me for another twenty thousand dollars then we have ten thousand dollars of operational costs that means we can go in a force or things like a new 
mower. And we are now officially done with this field. It is fully tethered. Now he'll bring his wind rower and his baler over here. And in the next episode, hopefully we'll end up bailing that. I'll go ahead and call him up, get him to deposit that money into my bank account. And let's go look at some stuff at the dealership. You too, sir. You have yourself a good one. All right, bye. Well, he went ahead and paid me for it. Um, He did not pay me for the bailing part. He said because his hay usually makes him a lot of money. He's not going to pay me for that right now uh, until we have it all bailed. Now, this is what I'm thinking we do. Since we're getting 10 grand, I think we buy like a mower, probably like this New Holland or this right here, John Deere. But I know for bailers though, we're going to end up needing something small. Y'all see that we have this right here, this New Holland. I think we might pick up that right there. They said it's about five grand. And then this mower right here is about 15. But if I can wheel in deal, if I can get for a package deal for, let, let's say about 17, that would be perfect. Then we also need to look into some of these, but I'm not really too worried about that. Um, now this right here is what we are buying today. This Vermeer right here is a very, very small one, but yet yeah, it'd be very good for operation. They're only wanting two grand for it and it's very small. So I figure we can go ahead and pick this up today and have a little bit of fun with it. And then ladies and gentlemen, on top of that, we are going to go ahead and pay our guy to go ahead and fix our tractor for us. I'm going to go ahead and here and talk to the guy we're gonna go ahead and buy that what we need and yeah we'll see you in a second went inside went in and paid for the tether and then we hooked us directly up to the truck so that we can go ahead and take it on to our next job site with us once we got back to old neil farms we went ahead and jumped onto his baler and took it off and went ahead and started back the job when he started this little old compact church i know for a fact is a very very good one i mean i definitely wouldn't mind getting some of this one day now he did say just leave him out here in the field he'll come by and pick him up at a later time but we're just gonna kind of cruise through this i did talk to dealership a little bit and they did tell me that they're getting some of the new equipment here pretty soon i wouldn't mind looking at a new baler hopefully like a round baler or if we have to a square baler would be fine because with square bears you don't have to stop every few minutes and by the way guys if y'all haven't already please do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you see yourself coming back on the regular That is the last bell. So we are now officially done with this field right here. And I'm going to go talk to the old man, see if I can go ahead and get paid and I can get out of his way. And he said, just kind of walk up to the house here when we're done. All right. So I just made another eight grand off that right there. We might go ahead and load up the tractor real fast and take it on down to the local mechanic shop so that we can go ahead and fix it and get it back as quick as possible. All right. So we just had the $50,000 deposit into our account. And I'm going to go and see if we can pick ourselves up that mower combo. All right. Alrighty, and as for negotiation, I got him down to 18000 which is a really fair deal for this. All I got to do is go pay my buddy his twenty grand, and we will fish you on our first field. They said I can leave these out here until I can get time to come pick it up with the tractor. All right, so I went ahead and called him real fast, and he transferred, I transferred the money to his account. So we officially do own that there field. But let's jump in. Here's the kicker. We have one year to produce all that money back, or the bank is going to take the land from us. But ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for the end of the episode. Comment today, ladies and gentlemen, is what baler would you buy if you were in my situation, ladies and gentlemen? We'll see you in the next time. Peace.